Hi, so I thought I'd make a video and uh, so I could remember what I did for this recipe. Okay, so let me see if I can get the right lighting here. That looks really... <laughs> that looks a little... This looks better. That lighting was a little weird. It looks better going this way. No, it's gonna be... It's gonna go yellow again. For some reason, my kitchen has this yellow look to it. Okay, so, um, let me see. It, I gotta want to remember what I did. Alright, so, because uh, I didn't write down anything that I did. I'm gonna taste, yeah, I'm gonna taste while I'm, alright, so, mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. This is so good. I'm steaming up the camera. I'm going in for that. Now see, I. This is how you do it. You pick. Yeah. And <laughs> then you plant it back out again. So nobody knows. You, you, yeah, nobody really knows. Okay. So, um. I'm going to remember this recipe because it came out really good. I didn't have to use any of that canned soup crap. Okay. And I really didn't use a lot of milk or a lot of cream or a lot of butter or anything. So, I poached a chicken yesterday. Made a little chicken soup with it. And then I cooked up my chicken breasts yesterday um, by making a, a stuffed chicken that I saw on Delish. I posted that. Really cool. I just leftover vegetables. I roasted some vegetables with that. I kept some of that chicken and I cut it up and I put it in my fridge and I kept some for chicken salad. And then I made about six cups of stock. So I took about three tablespoons of flour to two tablespoons of uh, butter and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I didn't want that much butter. Um, so I've got like three like three tablespoons of fat to three tablespoons of flour and I made a nice roux. And what I put in it was a little bit of curry into my roux while it was cooking for about a minute while I cooked down my flour and my butter and my oil. I added a little curry to that, a little hot pepper, a little nutmeg, a little um, poultry seasoning, um, a touch of garlic, a touch of hot, uh, black pepper, and barely a pinch of salt. And I whisked it all up really good and started adding my chicken stock in it. And I got like about, oh, to about two cups of chicken stock. And, um, it looks red now, but it's not red. It's I turn a different light on because I'm gonna. I can't stand the way. That's better. Um. So I whisked it up. I added my chicken broth to it, and then. Um, I just kept thickening it, and then I added a nut. So I went for three cups of chicken broth, and to the three cups of chicken broth, to the three tablespoons of flour, to the. Three tablespoons of the two tablespoons of butter and the one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I added water um, and a splash, just a splash of milk, like a barely a drizzle, and it was just enough to make it look creamy. Meanwhile, I cooked on my other burner one cup of long grain rice in some of my chicken stock. Um, and to that I added green beans, which are over here, some green beans, and some onion, and, um, what else? I'm going to do that because it looks pretty doing that. Yeah, I'm going to play with it. Um, and salt and pepper, and I only did a pinch of salt, and I did do a little bit of crushed hot pepper in my, um, rice mixture, and I did like about one cup of long grain rice but I did add instead of two cups of water I did about two and a half to almost three cups of water
because I had my green beans in there and my onions and I didn't want it to not have enough water. And I let it come to a boil on my rice and I just kept stirring it till it came to a boil and it, I let it boil for about three minutes. And then I put the lid on it and I just turned the heat off of it for 25 minutes because I wanted it to get a little bit crusted. And I set my rice aside and then um, I took my my chicken that I cooked, that I poached, and that I baked too, and I chopped it all together and threw it into my nice uh, chicken bouillon kind of gravy roux. And really at that point I was ready to throw the rice in it and just have rice soup. But I buttered this little 11 by, I think it's 9 or 11 by 8 inch dish. Um, I buttered it, I put the rice on the bottom, and I kind of tried to make it so my green beans would be on top. And then I poured my chicken and roux mixture over it. And then on top of that, I took my homemade bread and I took the heel of the bread and I grated it over the top. And then I doppled it with a little bit of butter and then I put Parmesan cheese over the top. But also, in my, in my chicken sauce with my chicken, I did grate about a half a cup of cheddar cheese. So that's in there too. Mm -hmm. 400 and I let it bake for about 45 minutes and I did have to go in and uh, rotate my pan so that it would get, um, you know, the right color spread out there. So then I just put a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese on top of it and it's done. So I want to remember that recipe and now I can. So there, I'm going to go write it down. I'm making a little cookbook. It's just going to be a little tiny cookbook for just like little quick toss togethers when you're making things stretch. It's not going to be for sale or anything. It's just going to be for certain little family members that need to cook quick meals. Throw stuff together. Ooh. Yeah. I haven't eaten today, so and I, I'm not hungry, but I do. I am going to I just don't like to eat at night. So usually if it gets past 3, 4 in the afternoon, I'm not eating unless it's like Christmas Eve or Thanksgiving or something. Yeah. Must be a sign of getting older, you just don't want to eat past 3 or 4. Anyways, that's my chicken and rice recipe. You could put anything in here though. You could put cool ground cumin in here, paprika, Oh, I did put a little cinnamon in there. Yeah, I did that too. Because, you know, it was just a vegetable sauce with chicken broth. So you always need a little cinnamon and nutmeg in it. Not too much. Too much is not good. Um, I've heard some people say they put a little bit of thyme. Uh, I, wouldn't, if, I wouldn't put too much thyme in this or it would overpower it. Um, a little sage and thyme you, is in the poultry seasoning, I believe. I gotta check that. I think it's poultry, sage, poultry, it's sage, thyme, nutmeg, and um, I have to look that one up. But that's my recipe. I'm gonna go grab a piece of chicken right here. This piece of chicken right here. Ooh. Yeah, chicken and rice. Okay, so that's my easy, easy chicken and rice. Okay. Bye everybody, have a nice night.